My name is Eric Hood. I'm the Product Application Specialist for Motor Graders for Caterpillar. And today I want to talk to you about our new 140 model. This model is complementary to the current Motor Grader lineup uh, and is not a replacement model. So it adds to our existing line. What's unique and uh, different about this machine is it brings the steering wheel and levers to the market. So if you would like joysticks, you got your M3. If you like and prefer the steering wheel and lever machine, 140 is the machine for you. As you'll see with the nomenclature, the 140 or 140, it does not have a letter designator behind it. This is the first model for uh, Caterpillar motor graders that has the new nomenclature uh, without the letter. The other things you'll see and important on this machine is you'll see a lot of legacy, a lot of history on this machine. Caterpillar has been in the steering wheel and lever uh, arena since 1973 with the G series motor graders and has continued on with the H, the H series 2. We were out of the market, excuse me, in North America. We spent a little bit of time, uh, about 10 years with the M series with the joysticks, but there was customer need asking us to bring the steering wheel and lever to the market, be able to handle mixed fleets and for those customers who have a preference uh, for the steering wheel and levers because they like that control familiarity. When they get in this machine, they'll see the low effort controls, the ability to multi-function and get in and be able to run uh, with no issues. Other things you'll see from the M series that we pulled into this machine is you'll see the 9.3 liter engine. You'll see the M series transmission. We've upgraded the braking system from the H series to the hydraulic brakes that we had on the M series. As, uh, and brakes on each wheel, as well as we've introduced the top adjust onto this size machine for our machine. So you can either get a standard DCM or the top adjust to help keep things tight. What you'll also see is if you choose, this model behind me is a rear tandem only, but if you're interested in all-wheel drive, we also have the M-Series all-wheel drive system built into this machine. The reason I say M-Series is, again, a lot of legacy stuff that we've had in the M-Series is built into this machine. The display inside the cab is the, from the M3 series, so you have a common feel throughout the family of machines. The other thing you'll notice is there's some a square cab and a front frame and the controls. That stuff is from the Legacy H series and built into this and been updated for this machine. Other things that we've brought to the market with this machine is this is the next gen grade control system. So this is the first machine in the industry that has steering wheel levers and has a 2D cross slope automatic system. And that, this machine has it. We're still used to use those three sensors to be able to, uh, for rotation, main fall, and blade slope and pitch, to be able to incorporate and have cross slope on this machine. Also with that next gen grade, we're using now the EC520 and the GS520 updating so that this machine is better able to have an earthwork system plug and play available. The other option you'll have with that cross slope system, if you put the cross slope in and you're in a situation where you're doing a lot of road maintenance, if you get those roads built up to the proper slope, what you'll find is you're going to save up to 40% material savings. Mile by mile, you'll save material year over year with roads that are built up and at the proper slope when using a 2D cross slope system. The other big features to this machine is we've got multiple cab options, we've got multiple seat options, um, and you're able to scale this machine, meaning build that configuration up that best works for your job site or for your application. And then the last thing we've got, if you get into the uh, engine compartment here, We've got our next generation of filters. You can save up to 20% in maintenance costs with this machine. And the main reason we're able to get that is with our next generation filters, but also extended service life. If you look in here, you see our new cartridge style filters. The advantage to those, instead of spinning off a metal canister that's full of fluid, you can actually get in here and drain off the fluid so you have an empty housing, spin it off, replace the cartridge, and spin it back on so it's more environmentally friendly and, and uh, easier to keep the engine compartment clean. As you'll also see here, we no longer have the water bowl, so we have a water in-filter sensor, and as soon as that water indicator or water in-filter sensor goes off, then you're able to go out and drain off the water. When it comes to the hydraulic oil filter, 
the hydro or the engine oil, the engine oil filter, and the fuel filters. With SOS sampling, we've moved from 500 hours out to 1,000 hours of service interval. So you're more frequently, the machine's up and going, and less downtime for maintenance. Again, saving up to 20% in your maintenance costs to keep this machine going. So it's running lower and low, lower O and O costs, more uptime and less labor to keep this machine up and going. So as you can see, there's a lot of value built into this machine. Not only do you get your choice of controls now, M3 series if you want joysticks, or for steering wheel lever, the 140, but you can also save money, be more sustainable, and provide building blocks for technology. So there's a lot to offer in this machine, and we're excited to bring it to the market as an additional model to our lineup.